Welcome back to Let's Play Thief. I'm Burning Dog Face, and this man is no longer conscious. Boy, the timing on that one. Golly gee! As soon as I loaded my quick save, the guy turned around and started coming the other way than he'd been coming the first time around. So, you know, that sucked. That's one. Can I, like, close this? There, there were doors here at one point. Curious. Nope. What am I looking for? Yeah, that was the one. Reduces noise created when walking under noisy surfaces. But yeah, am benefited at that. Great, that's exactly what I wanted. If he's smart, he learned to fear the graven. Fuck, they are way on edge. Goddamn cultists. Just to say in here, honestly, if it was me, and I just glanced over there, I wouldn't be able to tell that one of them was my, one of my guys. Uh, I'd have to walk right up to him before I realized. Man, where am I actually going? Hmm, there, I guess. Jesus, there are man's hanging from the fucking ceiling. Glad I knocked down those, uh... When I find him. What are they called? Chandeliers. That's the word. Ha! Huh? No, you say that, but I'm the one who's winning. Can I save? No, I cannot. I saw where that came from. Why didn't you come in? Or these things are the heads of guards without uh, helmets, right? That's what the loading screen said. Oh, 
What would be neat is if I could peek through the keyhole now. It's not letting me. Two thousand dollar dues. There you go. I can feel eyes on. Very interesting to me that the Baron wouldn't save himself. Well, that's bad. I don't know what it is, but it's bad. It's kind of gas. Oh, I bet I can burn it. You know, I don't even feel like I'm playing this game right, to be honest. to, uh, to, uh, grab the loot. Yeah, from what I understand, it seems like this game has one of the opposite problems of, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. You know, what I keep hearing about that game is, it's amazing, you should play it, everyone loves it. But the controls are fucked. Because there's a really, really heavy emphasis on letting you do a lot of things and they map them all to the same few controls. So there's a real problem, apparently, with, among, you know, other things, uh, I've, seen, I've seen, like, video clips of this happening to, like, five or six different people, where they'll go into a store, or, like, someone's selling shit, and they push the button that is supposed to, you know, talk to, interact with the guy, but because they're not, like, standing quite close enough for the context button to have changed to that, their character just pulls out his gun and shoots the dude in the gut. So, not optimal. Oh, I wonder. Hmm. Hard to say, it's really climbing slowly. The loot, I mean. I was wondering if the uh, pickpocket stuff counted as uh, loot. Weird that they dragged all these guys back to the front entrance, huh? Even the guys I went to the trouble of hiding. I mean, in my defense, uh... They really should have known better. Maybe today isn't the day you go into work. Maybe today, maybe today is the day you put on your civilian clothes and walk out of town, never to return. I'm just saying that's an option. In. Oh, that was slick. I like. Oh, oh. We just have to come in from this t uh, floor, right? I know. I just want to make sure I get everything. That's why I came back upstairs in the first place. Quiet, you.
Oh. I'm just gonna leave. All good. And try to duck past that gas. Is that something important? That seems like something important. Damaged wing. To all house staff, the Baron requests that we take measures to preserve the Northcrest legacy. All staff will aid in the re removal of the manor's valuables. We must sadly ignore the safe on the second floor as the new combination has gone missing. Eli and Wallace, please clean the back corner of the ceremony chamber. No questions. Alex Alexander Farnham, house steward. This is a dead end. So since there's a fucking flyer about this wing being damaged, I have to assume this door was closed the last time I came here. Hmm. Well, I didn't instantly explode, so you know, that's good. That was not a vase. That was like a goblet at best. That was tiny. <sighs> to be fair, if I was clever, I would have done that and just done a takedown on the guy. You fucker. But you did. You ruined everything. Fuck can I leave you? You know, it looks like you're alone out here, so I'll put you in this corner. Fine. You know, this hasn't happened in a while. There we go. Wait, then what the fuck is upstairs? It's got all these dudes guarding it. I must know. Forgive me, my obsession, Burning Dog fans. Alright, enough of that. 
kick you in the stuff and be done with it. did see that. Perfect. You're in here now. Welcome to your new home. Alas. Somebody knew the fucking gun. Wait. Seven, zero, five. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Swap it around. Piss drink. Nothing carved on the inside, or... Well, hey, it was worth a shot. Scissors. How many mysteries? See a flower down there. Nothing of any particular value. Uh the edge of a candle. Nothing fun. Before I forget... <laughs> oh, goodness. I needed a sneeze. And what a sneeze it was! Uh, wasn't there a door here? Maybe someone stole it. A lot of that going around lately. Theft, not like an infamous gang of door thieves. Manor duties. Replace house linens. Change safe combination. 017. Tend to fireplaces. Clean new lights. Clean carpets. Watch guards tracking in dirt. Huh. Repair ventilation fans. Complaints of, of mighty winds. I like to imagine that one of the uh, servants stashed that bond up there. They're quietly lifting it from a desk or something. <laughs> Hell yes, secret room. Loose ends. It's a book. 714 NRY 841. No one can be trusted. Aldous himself betrayed me with threats of exposing the accident and revealing the dangerous nature of the primal to the public. How the traitorous dog can turn on me after I brought him back into the family is hard to comprehend. From today, he can shout all he wants. Only the mad filth deep in Moira Asylum will hear him now. His rantings can be perceived as lunacy until his death. Oh dear. I will proceed alone. On my orders, the Thief Taker General will muzzle the Awakened One. They will muzzle the Awakened one by one, however he sees fit. Vivian has uh, been considered missing for months now. Her absence suits me well. 
All my loose ends are nearly tied up. Nothing will stop me from harnessing the primal. Nothing. So he murdered his wife. He had his brother committed. You know, dishonestly. And then he sent the Thief Taker General to fucking murder everyone. Why didn't the fucking general just take the ring when he killed the guy? I'm trying to remember something. Man. The, uh, the Baron said the, the dead guy's name when he mentioned the ring, of course. It's already on seven, so... I'm just thinking that I'm pretty sure that in the cutscene where uh, the primal accident happened, uh, it starts off with the Baron going, you know, Brother Aldous, Brother... Oh, that's it, Brother Aldous, Brother Cornelius, bring me the book. I'll take this. What the asterisk, anyway? The married spinster. What? There's a faint tracing on the back of the painting that is visible only by candlelight. I think I like the smell of violets. A statue is just a lump of stone that holds a shape for a little while. This one's not bad. Old lady and her beloved frog. You know, as opposed to some of these, which are just, like, uh, ominous. I would not put that on my wall. That's, uh, freaky. That one, too. Well, maybe the boobies. <laughs> well, let me check something. Not what I meant to do, but you know what? What the fuck? Why not? Well, that makes me feel a lot better. Since I was at about half before. No. Spent so much time faffing around and going up and down the stairs that, uh, the episode is over. Sorry, guys. My bad. Well. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Thief when we, uh... <gasps> stretch! Well, I want to go into the ceremony room and see what fresh hell awaits us in there. Later!